guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I'm the founder and CEO of daughter of increase ministries that is DOI ministries and here on this channel I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God and Christ through Bible studies book reviews discussions and more and I do that by posting twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday and occasionally on Tuesdays and so if you have not done so already don't forget to click the bell to stay notified of when I post a new video subscribe to the channel like this video and share this video on your social media platforms with a family member or a friend and as the title says above or below we are here for a Tuesday tech video and like I did two weeks ago I did a what's on my iPad video so now we're gonna share a what's on my tablet video and I'm gonna give you guys sort of the specs and so this baby here is my beloved beloved Galaxy Tab S7 FE so I did get the S7 FE I eventually will get the S8 um, but I did get this one um, I got this the same way I got the iPad through my phone company um, T-Mobile and so if you do have T-Mobile you can get tablets added to your line as like a separate line and so this does have a number attached to it you can actually text this number on this tablet line but um yeah that's how i got this the case on here is a lavender case i get all of my cases from the same company through amazon i think they're called fenty or something like that if f i n i t i e or something like that i'll leave it linked down below but um it's just a basic uh oh that's the name of the company it's literally up by upside down but f i n t i Fenty, I think that's what it is. Um, the original one I had was just lavender, but then I saw that they had the marble one, so I switched it to this one. But they're pretty much the same, and they do the automatic wake. And so, yeah, you guys can see it is Friday, February 17th that I'm making this video. Let me just make sure this is in frame correctly. Okay, but I'm going to go through all the specs. But before we get into that, um, I do use a keyboard bluetooth keyboard jelly comb bluetooth keyboard obviously in lavender i had to do it this is a keyboard that i use i can connect it to two bluetooth items and so i do use this with both the ipad and the tablet um and i do have a mouse that i use the one that i'm currently using is this one here it is a rose gold one i do not know what brand it is i just found it it's rose gold so that's why i use it um, so yeah, you can plug it into your computers to use, but I just use it Bluetooth wise. Um, it connects to both the tablet and the iPad, but um, that's what I use. I also have the S Pen Pro. I have it in a sleeve right now, lavender sleeve with the white cap. Um, it came with a set of three, so it has the white sleeve with the white cap, the lavender sleeve with the lavender cap, and then a pink one. I just put this on top of it. Um, and then I do have these stainless steel tips on them, courtesy of my girl, Daisha. Um, and then I have two screen protectors. Call me crazy. Um, I have the classic tempered uh screen protector on it but then my girl Daisha was talking about the matte ones and I did not want to take off my regular one at the time because I had just put it on and so I opted to try both and I do have both on top and so yeah I have two screen protectors on mine it is what it is um so I have the regular glossy one with the matte screen protector and it works fine for me it does not have any issues as you can see it works perfectly fine for me and so yeah so this wallpaper here I got off of Pinterest most of my wallpapers um i either get from daisha pgl facebook group check it out link down below um or from pinterest and so yeah here's what it looks like right now i just have this one says psalm 63 and 4 your kindness is gr is a greater goodness than life my lips shall glorify you i went with it just because it went with the whole valentine's day theme that i got going on with my layout and then i switched my clock around um i do have the update that just came out I really don't know much about it right now. I think it's Android 13 or something like that. I don't pay attention to the updates. I, I learn them as I use them. And so, yeah, let me just put in my code real quick and then we'll get going. All right. And so here is my main wallpaper. I just have two home screens. Um, this main one, I keep it clean and classic. Um, I pretty much just keep my icon here to go straight to my planner and then my main dock down here. Like I said, this wallpaper is from Daisha. This 
she has been doing for a while now where she just makes a monthly wallpaper for the month and so this is the february one it is so cute you have your monthly calendar here some gorgeous images it goes with the monthly theme and then a scripture here the scripture is first corinthians 13 and 7 esv love bears all things believes all things hopes all things endures all things with the actual color scheme for that month which goes with her planning system if you have the pgl planner i do and so that's that um and then swiping i just have the calendar my uh i think this is my doi email and then my moon plus readers uh widget that i use that's pretty much all that i use but i pretty much keep this bare and so these icons i pretty much made using the shortcut maker app um and so yeah uh this one is from dacia's set and then the rest of these i use from various different stickers that i have so if you have the shortcut maker app you can make these i think most of these are actually from tanya cart her sticker kit and this one is from paper shire so these here as well as this one is from tanya cart this one is from pgo and then this one is from paper shire if i'm not mistaken so this takes me directly to penley um i use penley to do my planning and so once you click it it opens up directly to the penley app and then this is the planner obviously pgo 2023 planner um in classic ivory and it's just opening to where i left off in my planner which was in my reading journal so let me just close that up um so that it looks like that but that takes you straight there this is for google chrome so if i click it it'll take me straight to chrome um and that's that so that's just my goodreads account there um so yeah this takes me to gmail this takes me to um samsung notes this takes me i think to the bible yes <laughs> it takes me to the bible um which i have slacked on using honestly oh jonathan McReynolds is on for today i should probably watch it hmm i should probably watch it i have slacked on using the bible app honestly y'all tragic and this takes me to my files um documents like my file folder um swipe up and then here are all of the apps here i don't have as many apps on here because this does not hold a lot of storage i only have the 64 gigabyte i did not go for the 256 i think it was but i do have um, a sd card that has 256 gigabytes on it and so a lot of the stuff that i have on here i moved to my sd card and so because of that i don't have a lot of things on here but keep in mind i do have my cell phone which has 256 gigabytes plus i have a 256 gigabyte sd card on my actual cell phone then i now have the ipad and now i have the iphone and so i have storage everywhere so i keep a bare minimum on the things that i keep on the ipad because i not the ipad the tablet because i keep the tablet specifically for work purposes and it works for what i need it to work for which is basically work which is handling emails using it for um content creation and um youtube and things like that and so it works for what i need it to work for and i love it and so going through we have the daily folder in daily we keep messages because obviously like i said i can receive text messages through here so i do receive certain text messages through this um tablet gmail clock calculator maps hp print services plugin because i do print from here straight to my printer and then clock i keep that in the daily use for plan we have calendar samsung notes penley and touch notes i still keep touch notes i don't use touch notes but i still have certain things in touch notes that i enjoy and so i still keep it we have call so we have context google meet phone and zoom now i have a phone on here can i actually make phone calls yes and no <laughs> um there's capability for that i can receive phone calls like if people call my actual cell phone i can receive those phone calls directly to here um i just don't utilize it because i don't want to and so the capability is there if i need to utilize it um which again is why i prefer and like galaxies i'm just a galaxy girl all day okay um then we have camera uh just the camera gallery and video web we have google chrome because i love google chrome we have google for searching and then internet i don't really like internet explorer i never did growing up even when internet explorer was like the only web browser i didn't like it and so 
I wish there was the ability to remove this app altogether, but for some reason you cannot remove it. And so it's there, I just don't like it. And so I prefer Chrome over every other web browser personally. Then we have God. And so I did have a lot more apps in this folder. However, I did since remove a lot of those apps from here and move them onto the iPad because the iPad has a little bit more storage than um, I do here because I have a lot more work on here and so it just works now keep in mind both I believe the iPad and the tablet have 64 gigabytes however <laughs> with the difference with the iPad that I will say is that if I'm taking videos and photos they automatically save to the iCloud which then leaves space for apps to be saved and so I think that's where the difference comes in Though I can do the same thing with the Google Drive, I think it is Google Clouds or Google Photos or whatever. I'm not a fan of Google Photos for many reasons. <laughs> and so that's kind of the difference I can say when it comes to the iPad just slightly. But um, I did have the Filament app on here. I did have Blue Letter Bible on here. I did have a few other apps on here like, uh, what was it called? The Bible project on here. I took those off because I have them also on my cell phone. I have them on the other phone. Like I have them everywhere else and I don't feel like I need to have the same apps on all devices, if that makes sense, because I am using multiple devices at the same time. And so the ones I kept on here are obviously the Bible, Bible Hub and Enduring Word because those are the apps I am consistently using. So I kept those ones specifically here. Um, social, I only kept two, Facebook and Messenger because I use those for work purposes. So those are the only two I kept on here. I don't like Instagram specifically on the tablet. It sucks. Um, and so if I need to use Instagram, I'll use it on my phone or I'll use it on the iPhone or the iPad. Or I'll, if I really need to use it on a tablet, I'll use it via the web version on the tablet, which I prefer the web browser version. Um, audio, I kept Libby and Hoopla on here. I took all my other audio apps off for the purpose of storage space. So again if i'm listening to audiobooks i prefer to listen to those more so on my phone because i'm typically carrying my phone around with me or i'm able to pull that out quicker than i am able to pull out my tablet if i'm on the go and so it just makes more sense to have more so audio stuff on my phone i can easily sync up hoopla and libby on any of my devices so like if i'm in the room and i was listening to libby or hoopla on my phone it'll easily sync up on my tablet so i can take it off my phone, charge my phone, and immediately play it on the tablet or the iPad or wherever. So that's why um, I think that it's better to just have those apps um, working like that. So, and both of these work with my library cards. I have library cards for both New York and New Jersey, and so that is a plus. Then we have Read. Um, I have Moon Reader Plus Pro which they have Moon Reader Plus, which is a basic app. And then you have the Pro, which I think it was less than $9 or $10, probably less than that, honestly. Um, I did just get the Pro option because I just like the, op the like options that they had. So I use that when I have like eBooks that I download. I have Comic Screen because they work with comic books that I download. Um, NetGalley Shelf because I obviously get NetGalley books. Kindle kindle user and then vk vk is literally a russian version of facebook however with vk i do also get those ebooks and audiobooks which then allows me to import those into comic screen or moon reader plus pro so that's why that's there i used to have other things on here but again i took those out to put onto the ipad or my cell phone um and files we just have my files onedrive and drive google drive because that's all i need um, watch, we have YouTube, Crunchyroll for my anime, love my anime, um, TTV, that is pretty much an Android app. I'm not sure if they have TTV available for iPhones. I never looked into it. I, I know when I first started using TTV, it was not available for iPhones. I'm not sure if it is now. Um, but that's the app that I personally use to watch movies and TV shows. I have not been to a movie theater in a while. I think the last movie I watched in a movie theater was uh, Wakanda Forever and that's only because my son's school had bought tickets for like uh, only a hundred family members 
to watch it for free and then prior to that they also bought tickets for 100 family members to watch the woman king free but i couldn't go because i think i had a prior engagement and so if i need to watch a movie that just came out i'm, I'm going to ttv to watch it it is what it is um we have hulu haven't really been watching that but i pretty much watched that because my mom pays for it and uh you know why not watch it and they got enemies disney plus if i really want to watch it like a classic disney betty boop i'm all for it and i say classic i mean like old school mickey mouse minnie mouse betty boo not that new stuff i'm over the new stuff i'm sorry t player is basically um to watch shows from ttv they use a separate video player which is the t player so these two go hand in hand obviously netflix and then prime video i did have vicky on here i unsubscribed from vicky <laughs> i have this like love-hate relationship with vicky right so there are some months when I'm like, oh, let me pay for Vicky. It's only $10 a month. And then sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to pay for it. So I just won't pay for it. And so I just was like in the mood of I'm, I'm not going to pay for it. So I stopped paying for it. I think in December was the last month I paid for it. And I haven't paid for it since. And I'm okay with that. I'm just not in the mood to watch it. And if I really want to watch a K-drama, I'll go on Netflix or Hulu or Disney or find something on TTV. Um, and if there's something I do want to watch, I'll find it. And if I can't, then maybe I will. But I haven't been in the mood to want to watch a K-drama that I have to pay for. So yeah and prime video i have it because i have amazon prime i'm paying for it and i need to just take advantage of the fact that i can watch videos through prime video and so i put it on there um yeah music i literally just have spotify and samsung music um yeah i do have some songs on here but most of my music is on my actual cell phone because obviously my cell phone is where i carry all my music at but i love me some spotify spotify chef's kiss okay Pretty much, my Spotify consists of Victor Thompson music. He be putting me into worship, y'all. Worship. Victor Thompson is it. Um, it consists of Afrobeat music and Christian bops. Okay, when I say Christian bops, that means Christian hip hop, Christian R and B. Um, pretty much that's it. If you did not see the video that I posted Saturday, you'll know that I'm really like my desire and. What the Lord is doing with me regarding music has been changing drastically. And as much as I still love hip hop and R&B, the music industry and just music in general has just been so demonic and demonized and just, it's been crazy. And I just no longer have a desire to listen to it. And so I've now been having a desire to get more into Christian hip hop which has the same kind of feel but it glorifies the lord and i love it <laughs> like i mean the it, it has that same kind of vibe with the beats because i like i grew up around music my father was a producer like he worked with montel jordan growing up he my father was in that type of like atmosphere and and, and field within the music industry and so my both my my brothers are musicians my sister can sing I like to sing, I like to dance, like we all grew up around that and so music is in my blood. But as a believer, I'm starting to see the craziness within the music industry and so I'm um, I'm seeing that I can still enjoy that type of sound. I don't even want to say sound because the sound coming from the music industry now crazy. I can enjoy that type of vibe of like a fire beat but with the sound that glorifies God rather than a sound that's glorifying the enemy if that makes sense and so pretty much my spotify i can actually open it for you guys yeah like see i've been playing some devito and stefan don like <laughs> y'all can see right here like this is literally i've been listening to also city afro beats mix christian bops victor thompson afro party anthems gospel mix portia love was the last artist um that was kind of like listening to like yeah i'm i'm really switching up the sound um what i listen to what i listen to i've been cleaning out my playlist a lot it's just something the lord has been working on me with specifically with music is cleaning up what i'm listening to um and he's slowly working on me with my reading taste um not cold turkey but dwindling down on what i'm listening and reading i'm not dwindling down on what i'm reading and so yeah um so that's music then we have cash app because i have cash app for the youth ministry for my church um canva i work with canva um so that's that 
um so right so right right is for anything as far as like whether i'm doing something for church or for myself or if i just want to like make a post for doi or whatever the case may be right um so we have adobe we have microsoft 365 right on pdf hp smart for printing purposes word and powerpoint i mean that's self-explanatory <laughs> um theme if i want to make any changes as far as like i don't know if you guys can see the little flower that's floating around hopefully it's coming across i'm not sure <laughs> i can do it this way the little flower if i want to change that i need pentastic if i want to change any icons i need shortcut maker and theme park to change up some like theme things these are the icons i use t-mobile because obviously that's my phone company that i use um and so I have two different T-Mobile lines. I have the family line, which is what this on, and then I have my personal line, which is what the iPhone and iPad are on. So that's that. Um, Samsung is obviously where Samsung products are. And so tips, Samsung free, and then AR zone. Um, Play Store, Galaxy Store. I could put them in one folder, but they are two separate entities. And then settings. That's pretty much it. Um, that's what's on my tablet. This tablet, like I said, I got it specifically for work purposes. It was nothing else that I wanted it for fun. Like that was not the purpose. At first I had like a whole bunch of games and all this other stuff. And I'm like, honestly, I, I'm over having tablets and iPads and all that for fun. I wanted it for work purposes, right? And because I now have the iPad, um, and you guys, if you didn't see the what's on my iPad video, click the eye for that. The iPad, I have a few games on there and then I recently took those games off and put those actually on to the actual iPhone, which I'll have a what's on my iPhone video coming. I do have an iPhone now, if you guys want to see. Yes, I did get an iPhone. No, I did not transition to an Apple user. Not happening. I'm a Galaxy girl all day. Actually, I will be getting a new Galaxy and let me just say... Let me just say this, okay? I know you guys see all these electronics and stuff like that. Let me just say this. What you see is not what you're thinking, okay? What you see is not what you're thinking. This here, this tablet, and my phone that I'm actually recording, the, the phone I use to record all my footage and all that on, is a family line, okay? Family line. I'm not going to the store and paying the thousand dollars, the six hundred dollars. No, family lines, so they're gifted to me. <laughs> Let's, let me clarify that, okay? They're gifted to me. Now, the iPad and the iPhone were put on to a separate line for the purposes of business, and so I am responsible for those. But those are on a monthly bill basis, and so I'm saying that because I don't want people to say. Well, she said this and she said no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I always have to make that clear. I, I just want to make that very clear. Very clear. All right. But, um, yeah, just because I have this and the iPad don't mean I'm a... Y'all, I be in this house bugging. Like, I be on the phone with my friends like, how y'all do this? This is so retarded. Like, I, I, can't, I can't do it. This is what I'm used to. Like, this is my life. I'm so used to this. We can maneuver this. All that Apple stuff, I'd be like, what? I, we're not even going to talk about the Mac. Like, my brother, like I said, he gifted me the Mac Mini. Y'all, that Mac Mini has been sitting under my computer for, like, two months. I might even, well, not two months, like a month and a half now. It's literally, like, if I could reach it, I don't even think I could, like, pull it out for you guys. Yeah, like, it's, it's right here. I have not connected it yet to my computer. I need to figure it out and connect it and use it. I'm probably just going to connect it to my TV and, and and try to make some use out of it because it's sad. It's real sad. <laughs> it is so sad, y'all. And I'm, I'm very, I will say I'm very grateful for my family members. I'm, I'm very grateful for my mom and my siblings um, because they are very helpful to me. Um, especially business-wise, they're very, very helpful and very caring and supportive. Um... I'm very thankful to to you guys as well um, for just allowing me to be on this journey and things like that. But um, yeah, that's what's on my tablet, y'all. <laughs> nothing crazy, nothing over the top. Like, I'm sorry, my tablet is not, 
it's nothing it's nothing over the top like i keep it real basic and i am gonna do a video on how i started youtube because people ask me all the time how i started my youtube channel and it's not it's not a lot like i don't have this like massive like setup for my channel i literally use my cell phone to record my videos i edit all my videos on my cell phone it's as simple as that and i'm gonna walk you guys through like how i do it and so that's gonna be coming in a video really soon so that you guys can see um as much as i always wanted to use like a dslr camera and all that stuff it's like do i want to spend all that kind of money when i can just use what i have and, you know i am eventually gonna try to record a video on my phone i think this is the i4 i iphone i4 the iphone 14 i didn't want the pro i didn't want the max i just got the basic one the iphone 14 i did get it in lavender or what they call purple is lavender but it's more so like a white with a hint of purple um and i got the same phone case from cosmo which is i black i blason is the company um it's literally the same case that i put on my cell phone like i said the same cases that i use on my androids i get the same cases for my apple products because i trust them and so it's the same company it's called cosmo series from bless own um and then i just have my little moe from aristocats i love the aristocats so so cute um i stuck her on there and i had got this from primark a while ago for like 3.99 so yeah we have that and i'm gonna get the same case the same exact case when i get my new phone um and so when you guys join the mentorship program, you will have access to this phone number, not my personal line, like at all. Um, <laughs> and it's not to be like crazy, but I just, I don't want to give up my personal number. If you have my personal number, then you got my personal number. But when you do join the mentorship, you will have access to this phone number. But um, yeah, that's that. That's what's on this. So yeah, if you have not seen the what's on my iPad video, go check that out. Um, the next video will be a what's on my iPhone. And then probably after that, I'll do a what's on my Galaxy because then I'll also be upgrading this Galaxy to a new one. And I'm thinking about getting the Galaxy S23 Ultra, I think it is, because it comes in purple and I want it because it's lavender. Only because it's lavender. And I don't think they come out with the Note 20 anymore. I don't know. It was hard to find it. So whatever. I'm going to go so I can make another video. And y'all, I finally got these nails done. Aren't they cute? I got it done for Valentine's Day. They were kind of cute. Something different. Um, so yeah, we got it done. One with a different color because you know, you know I'm good for my, my lavender nails. So I'm trying to, trying to step out of the ordinary colors that I do. But thank you guys for watching. Write and comment and subscribe and all that great stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.